For those looking to follow along, who, who we got playing today, uh, Baltimore Ravens sitting at, that's our squad. You see it on the screen, 13-3. and three. Uh, We're taking on the New York Jets, who are, I believe they're 3-2-1. and one. Let me verify. Yeah, that's exactly 13-2-1, excuse me. They had the bye week, uh, the number two seed there in the AFC. The winner of this game is going to be taking on the New England Patriots. So the winner of this game is guaranteed home field advantage in the AFC Championship game as the Patriots defeated the Houston Texans in overtime today. And for those that watched that game, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tom Brady was uh, phenomenal for the New England Patriots. Their secondary played strong. It was kind of a, a little bit of a defensive battle back and forth. Went into overtime. And a fumble by Lamar Miller after a field goal for the New England Patriots. Ended the game. And here we go. Baltimore's got the ball to start this. Let's go ahead and take a look at our offensive lineup and see what we got. Same as what we started with. Mark Ingram, Willie Sneed, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Showtime Brown, Mark Andrews. And on our offensive line, we got Staley, Lewis Skura, Yanda, and Brown Jr. First play of the playoffs here in the divisional round. Handoff to Mark Ingram. This is a New York Jets team right there. It's a big-time hit from Jamal Adams that forces a lot of fumbles. So don't be surprised when you see conservative ball carrier turned on. This is a team that created the most, uh, forced the most, excuse me, fumbles in the NBL and NBL season 40. And they're trying to do the same here in the playoffs as well. As Mark Ingram really nowhere to go there. Gonna pick up a few, a little third and two. You know, you like to see Mark Ingram get going downhill just a little bit more. Uh, right there, see him just kind of get caught behind the blockers, just nowhere to run. I'd like to see him just choose a point and just kind of run downhill. Uh, that's what he's best at. Third and two. First third down game. Uh, first third down of the game for the Baltimore Ravens. Excuse me. We also have an NBL merch giveaway. We're going to give away a t-shirt today as well. Looking at RB there on the right side, and that's just an inaccurate pass. A little fort concept. A little deep corner. You get a you get a little post action with a corner. These guys end up running into each other, but uh, with no problem. When they finally do break, they're wide open, and Lamar Jackson is ready for it. He's waiting. Sits right in front of the zone, and Lamar Jackson just makes an errant throw. For those asking about Lamar Jackson and how he was throughout the season, threw for 4,200 yards, 31 touchdowns, just 9 interceptions, 76 completion percentage, one of the top 2-3 in the league uh, completion percentage-wise, and he ran for almost 500 yards with 7 touchdowns. I had a lofty goal trying to get him to a G. We, we, we thought maybe Lamar could run for 1,000 yards, Ingram for 1,000. It uh, didn't really happen. Uh, a little seal on the outside, Le'Veon Bell. He's not the Madden cover athlete, but he's our uh, NBL magazine cover athlete right now. Bell never doubt greatness. They might have doubted Le'Veon Bell coming into NBL season 40 and this New York Jets team. Uh, but I'll tell you right now, uh, nobody's doubting this team in the playoffs because uh, they have a lot of explosion on the defensive side of the ball. They can create and force turnovers. And they got a guy uh, leading the league in rushing under center. I mean, in the backfield, excuse me, and that's Le'Veon Bell. I'm sure Sam Darnold really appreciates what he does. Real aggressive defense here for the Baltimore Ravens. We'll take a look at our defensive lineup in just a second as well. Little pitch to the outside. Nice run. Le'Veon Bell to the house. 40, 35, 30. And they're going to start this game in the rain. No pain. For the offense, they're going to get right into the end zone. Touchdown just like that. And I was going to show our defense. I guess I might as well. Brandon Williams, Willie Henry, Michael Pierce up front. Uh, McPhee, uh, Young, Judon. And then in the backfield, we have Humphrey, Smith, and Thomas. Along with Tony Jefferson, the second. Earl Thomas, obviously, El Capitan, along with Marlon Humphrey. Uh, that's just a very rough way to start the game. You get a missed throw uh, from Lamar Jackson. You're forced to punt the ball ensuing drive the Jets just you get a little aggressive and it just really looked like that's what was going to happen you know toss outside you get everybody inside focusing here nobody over the top all the safeties have came into the box and that just spells trouble uh, defensively for the Ravens because Le'Veon Bell is that good when he can get outside and get off the edge uh, he's very tough to contain there's nowhere to go there for Ingram that's going to be a loss of three second and 13. Here I come again. Here I come again. 
Can't be the bridesmaid if you don't make it to the Super Bowl. Oh, a little shot at Z-Star so far. Big time hit, but he holds on to the ball. That's, I believe, Willie Sneed. Lamar Jackson, one for two, 10 yards. Sneed, first catch of the day. He picks up 10. Third and three. This is a third and manageable. Uh, I'd like to see uh, maybe some Hollywood Brown action here, but maybe even some more Mark Ingram. Let's see what we go to here. As wide left, we see Marquise Brown looking. They got him over the middle of the field. Doesn't. Wait for him. Wait for him. Rolling to the right. Not there. Not there. Just take off running, Lamar. Lamar's going to pick up the first down here for the Baltimore Ravens. And just like that, our first, first down of the game. Here we go, divisional round matchup, first and ten. Lamar Jackson, quick throw to the flat, finds Mark Ingram. Oh, he's got a lot of space over there on the right side. Gets down to the 23 as uh, Bananas just decides, you know what, I'm not going to tackle him. I'm going to hit stick him in hopes that he just kind of finds his way back to me as Eli Apple just completely with the whiff tackle in open field. Like man coverage here. You get Boykin and Sneed on the left. Hollywood Brown on the right side. There it is. A little possession catch down to the 15 inside the red zone. Second and two. As that was a linebacker fire. They were sending the heat there. I like the adjustment so far from Lamar Jackson. Finding that little slant route and putting them down on the field. Expect the run here from Mark Ingram. It is. No. A little RPO left side. Boykin. Says get off me. But down to the 15 is going to be third and one. Now here's the question, if the Ravens don't pick up this first down, if somehow they get stopped, and uh, Mark Ingram struggles here to pick up the first down, because I assume this is going to Mark Ingram. Is it four down territory? No, it's, it's empty backfield here. Watch the little spot route here from uh, Willie Sneed. You got a spot flat concept on the right side. There's a little spot in the middle, hits him, nice pass. Willie Sneed holds onto the ball down to the eight yard line there inside the 10. Here comes our Ravens. Finished the season at 13-3. The Jets finished 13-2-1. That tie ended up being the difference and gave the New York Jets a bye in the wild card round. Now they're in the divisional round at home. Taking on our Baltimore Ravens. The winner of this takes on the New England Patriots and will, ha will have home field advantage. So this is a big-time opportunity for both of these teams. Up the middle. Big-time hit. Balls out. Hit stick fumble. That's what they do. They create turnovers. And they're going to go to the house as Cashman right there. Another big-time hit. Nope, Lamar Jackson's going to chase him down. That is just a uh, big-time hit in the middle of the field, laying the lumber. And, and that's what they do. You have to be just a little bit better at, at, at avoiding these hit sticks if you're the Baltimore Ravens offense. But right there, they might be in trouble. They're going to go drag underneath. Finds Hurden. Down to the 10-yard line. One for one, eight yards. We've only seen Le'Veon Bell so far. They're at the 10-yard line. And talk about a way to flip the field. The Baltimore Ravens look like they were in scoring drive inside the 10. A fumble. Almost, not a scoop and score, but almost. Now they're inside the 10, that being the New York Jets. They're going to be a handoff here to Le'Veon Bell. Trying to fight forward. Can't do it. He gets down to the 9. Motor says, wasn't he on conservative? I, I think he was. And, and he still got rocked and, and the ball dropped. It's just crazy. You got the rain. They bring the pain in New York. And, and the Jets continue to force fumbles regardless of, of how much you try to preach. Two hands on the ball. Control the ball. Conservative ball carrier. They still have the players that just really know how to uh, jar that ball loose. Here we go, first and goal from the four. New York Jets trying to extend this to a two-score game. Looking, looking. There goes Darnold. He's down. It almost looked like he was walking into a touchdown, but Pierce does a phenomenal job. You see him on our defensive line, our D-line, Brandon Williams, Willie Henry, and nose tackle Michael Pierce. They're going to have to play big today. We're going to have to get some push up front so our linebackers can have those holes and, and can shoot those gaps and try to contain Le'Veon Bell, who led the league in rushing this year, by the way. Pistol formation looks like a strong pistol here. 
And up up the middle. Le'Veon fights forward into the end zone just like that. We're down 14-0 pending this extra point. We're in trouble here in Baltimore. Yeah, Rick Flair in the chat was saying if you just hold to a field goal, you can spin this a little bit. Baltimore stalls on their first drive. An errant throw from Lamar Jackson forces a punt. Lamar Le'Veon Bell comes down. Does what he's been doing all season long. Gets a touchdown. Easy peasy. The Ravens can pose themselves. Drive all the way down inside the Baltimore, inside the New York Jets 10-yard line. And then do what they told themselves they were not going to do today. And that's fumble against this New York Jets team. Especially inside field goal range. Inside scoring range. They did it inside the 10. Almost a scoop and score. Lamar Jackson was able to chase down the Jets defender. But... Wasn't enough. The Jets still get on the board 14 up. Twelve twenty three in the chat saying uh, Le'Veon Bell is just too good. Yeah, man. You need points here. 535 left. Uh, we got to just see some points on the board. Uh, it just comes down to that. We need to see uh, a pulse here. A little out route there to Willie Snee working the flats. He gets out of bounds. You're going to see Lamar Jackson kind of take what's in front of him. But if they're going to work these sidelines, that might be the best route. Everything over here and this side. So you can catch the ball in, the, in these areas and then get out of bounds and kind of avoid what has been a New York Jets dominating, suffocating, hit stick defense, especially in that secondary with Jamal Adam, Adams and even at the linebacker core with C.J. Mosley. Little angle route over the middle. This is where it gets dangerous. Not a big hit there on Mark Ingram as he picks up uh, quite a few down to the 35. Rick Flair talking about uh, Sam Darnold just a little bit right now. Yeah, on the season, Darnold, while he didn't pass for a lot of yards, only 3,400 yards, he did have 46 passing touchdowns. Here goes B. Nope, not going to be there as Lamar Jackson is going to slide. See, a little impatience there for Lamar Jackson. He had B coming across the field here, breaking. He did have the corner route, maybe open. Didn't want to risk it here in the rain on the road. He knows how important it is for his team to get into the end zone on this drive. He took it into his own hands, or if you will, into his own legs as he takes off there. Watch a little, maybe a little seam route right here, a little go route. Uh-oh, less than five now on the play clock for the rookie Lamar Jackson. Second year player, Lamar Jackson. Excuse me. Dropping back. Looking and cooking. Got time. Goes underneath. Oh, leads him upfield. And Jamal Adams always looking to lay the lumber right there. Maybe it costs him an opportunity to make a play in coverage. Instead, he goes for the hit stick. First and 10 down to the 21. Serb saying Lamar is just so fast. Yeah, he is. Ingram gets outside. Makes one man miss. Eli Apple. He's holding his back. They brought him over uh, in a big-time trade. They, they really beefed up their cornerback situation early this year. Uh, Bananas uh, did a phenomenal job bringing in Eli Apple, uh, Desmond King over from the Los Angeles Chargers in some trades and kind of just figured it out. Lamar Jackson slicing and dicing there. Getting, oh, takes a big-time hit by 93. Does hold on to the ball. Third and seven. But yeah, Bananas has traded for Eli Apple and uh, Desmond King and created a, a cornerback core that is uh, definitely not not what it was at, out of the gate. This is definitely a, a viable group of cornerbacks that can cover. Takes a big hit right there, but Hollywood Brown, the rookie, holds onto the ball. They're at the two-yard line. Uh, familiar territory. Let's not turn the ball over this time. Maybe let's get a little Mark Ingram going. Ooh, nowhere to go. Nice job. Nice click on by Bananas there. Takes this corner on the outside. Leverages them in. You'd like to see a little bit more effort out there. If that's Hollywood Brown or Willie Sneed, whoever it was, just kind of just, just give us something. Give Mark Ingram an angle. Here goes Lamar. Look. Chased down by Cashman. Barely gets rid of it as he's hitting. Cashman's the one who forced the fumble earlier in the game. 14-0, the Baltimore Ravens, third and goal. Is this four-down territory to keep up, or are you just confident settling for three as we did get the ball first? Gov says the Jets' hit sticks are deadly. Absolutely. Here we go, third and goal. 
Two tight end, two wide receiver set. It's a pass play. Looking. Back at the end zone. Bullet pass inaccurate. That was a terrible throw. 10 for 13. When he's been off, he's been really off. And that was an awful throw. Probably a touchdown. I mean, you got a guy kind of tightrope in the back of the end zone here. And you just kind of dot it right there. Uh, what are you doing? Kick is up good as the Baltimore Ravens cut a 14-point lead down to 11. 217 left in the second. Appreciate everybody watching. We're going to do a merch giveaway. Uh, you can find some MBL merch on uh, CFNclothing.com. Hit the MBL tab at the top and uh, look at some. It'll be some new T-shirts, uh, legacy T-shirts at the top of the screen. So that's what we're going to be giving away today, uh, one legacy T-shirt. Not sure how we're going to do it. A little wildcat action. Oh, no, Le'Veon Bell's gone again. Got to get upfield. Humphrey does a great job, but he just cuts right in front of him. Oh, too easy peasy. Oh, my gosh. This is getting bad. Touchdown again. New York Jets slicing and dicing. Mm. Baltimore Ravens down. 21-3 pending this extra point, which is up. Good. Well, Baltimore, it's about, it's about that time. Give us a little pulse. GG's in the chat already. I want to count Baltimore out yet. They're 13 and 3 on the season. When these, when these two teams met before, the Jets came away with the dub. And you were thinking maybe Baltimore would come out a little bit more focused. Playoff game on the road. Maybe a different approach, but it seems to be the same mentality for the Jets and the same offense from the Ravens. Nobody's open here. He's got why. Maybe he doesn't take the shot. Goes underneath. Finds his man, Mark Andrews. User playmaker there. Andrews takes a big time hit. Down to the 40 yard line. Finally get a Mark Andrews side and a little bit in the game. This was a, a tight end we expected to do big things early on this season. Hasn't really lived up to the hype. Here we go. Lamar Jackson looking. Nowhere to go. Down he goes. Nice contain there for the defense. Keeping him in the pocket as Williams is going to get the sack. Mark Andrews, 63 catches, 881 yards, five touchdowns. You'd like to see your safety blanket give you at least double digits touchdowns. Didn't see it happen. Rolling to the right side. Playmaker up the field. Dangerous. Oh, but Mark Andrews makes a nice play. Down to the 48-yard line. Lamar Jackson gets outside the pocket. Lofts it up for his big tight end, Mark Andrews. And he says, hey, I've been saving it for the playoffs. Maybe. It's really key. If they can score before the end of the half here. Might be right back in it. Finding Andrews again, his favorite target to start this uh, second quarter. 13 to 16, a buck 85, zero touchdowns though for Lamar Jackson. It's like man coverage again. Looking left side, not there. It's not. It's zone. Oh, that's dangerous, and he doesn't get the beat on the ball. Bananas clicks on. I like to see him just go for that pick, and he he doesn't shoot underneath. It. Maybe scared to get the DPI. Kind of a missed opportunity there for Bananas. Dropping back, Lamar Jackson rolling to the right side. He's got time. He's taking off up the middle. Takes a big hit. Balls out. That's another turnover inside the 12-yard line. And Jamal Adams with the fumble recovery right there. Big hit by number 20. And that's what this team does. They lay the lumber. If you're going to run with Lamar Jackson, you have to have an end game. If I'm outside the pocket, I have to know where I'm going right there. It looked like Lamar Jackson really believed. I'm going to somehow just kind of wiggle my way into the end zone here. Doesn't happen. Halfback wham coming up. Oh, he bounces it right outside. Le'Veon Bell trying to get somewhere. Seven rushes, 160 yards, three touchdowns. How great has Le'Veon Bell been? And I told you, maybe not the cover athlete in Madden. But he's the uh, MBL magazine cover, 236. Put it back on the screen now. Le'Veon Bell, how great has this guy been for this gang green? Yeah, Marcus May lays the hit, as my man Adam points out there in the chat. All 
All right, guys, uh, we said we're going to do a legacy T-shirt giveaway, cfnclothing.com. Hit the MBL tab. Uh, go ahead and tell me what your favorite uh, colorway for that new legacy uh, design T-shirt is in the chat. That's a little juke move there by Le'Veon Bell. So, I mean, even when he gets a handoff and there's nowhere to go, he finds a way to kind of bounce back this way, change direction, cut back inside. He's just playing so loose right now. It's almost at the point where... You just need to see a big hit on Le'Veon Bell. Uh, just a big hit just to kind of just check his confidence. Right now, he's a very confident halfback right now. A little draw play. Look at these plays they're drawing up for him. And there's a big hit right there. 48, laying the lumber. 10 carries, buck 79, three touchdowns for the NBL. Season 40 leading rusher, continuing to do it in the playoffs. Winner of this game takes on the New England Patriots. They are going to have home field advantage. So if the Jets do win, it'll be Le'Veon Bell in this rushing attack and this big hitting defense. Versus the New England Patriots in the AFC Championship game. That could be a real fun one to watch. Also, don't forget, we have a reveal today for BTF Season 41 of the NBL. Who are we going to be covering as Le'Veon Bell? His elusiveness is uncanny, unheard of, as he goes untouched. Touchdown, New York Jets. Insanity Brilliant says he likes the Steel Blue XXL. I just wanted the colorway, man. Didn't get the size just yet. Uh, we're going to do the giveaway uh, sometime between now and the four-minute mark in the fourth quarter. Check out the Legacy T-shirts at cfnclothing.com. cfnclothing.com. Is it going to be holding here for Lamar Jackson? It's just... Nothing has been easy for the Baltimore Ravens. Fumbles inside the 10. You've seen two of them already. They've lost them both. I mean, if you get points on the board there, even if it's just three, it takes away one of the touchdowns that the Jets had. You know, we might be looking at a 21 to, to 9 game. Maybe right back in this game. But right now, Lamar Jackson struggled. That's going to be a pick. Oh, no, it's not. Jamal Adams gets really aggressive, goes for the pick. He's the, the middle third safety right there and just doesn't. Doesn't make a play. Gets real shallow. Allows Z-Star to just possession catch. A little curl to the right side. Caught by Roberts. Chains continue to move. 16 for 19. Uh, as great as Lamar has been throwing the ball, 16 and 19. Those three incompletions. Those have been really terrible so far. So, so when he's bad, he's been really bad. And it's been costly for the team. But he also has a uh, turnover with the fumble. Inside the 10 that you just can't have. At this point of the season, you're, you're the leader of this offense. You've got to control the ball. And Lamar Jackson fumbling inside the 10 after they've already had a fumble. It's just kind of unacceptable for our uh, Baltimore Ravens. Here we go. Look, he had a chance to take a shot at A. Didn't do it. Here goes Lamar again. Slides down at the 13-yard line. Lamar Jackson using his legs. Inside the red zone for, I think, the fourth time today. One for three so far. Watch the post on the left side. Might try to squeeze it in there. Right side. It's got him. An accurate pass once again. Lamar Jackson. He's only got four incompletions, but he has really cost this team. Ideal situations they put him in. The New York Jets defense, they put pressure on him. Yeah, they're giving up an open throw, but they're able to put pressure on Lamar Jackson and make him just an uncomfortable enough to where the pass is just slightly off. Underneath, nice little pitch and catch. Boykin, he gets out of bounds. But still takes a hit, and he's holding. I think that's his right leg. Little Bills drag action. Watch Andrews in the middle of the field. That's where we're looking here. Double move back at the end zone. Not enough time. And that's what we were looking at. The defense continues uh, to raise havoc. But offensively, we have, a, we have a stout offensive line. Stanley, Lewis, Skura, Yonda, and Brown Jr. A solid offensive line. Double move, trying to get over top right there. They just can't hold up. Look at the guys in the box right here on the Jets. They're getting really aggressive with Lamar Jackson. 
Well, I'd like to see a seam to Y right there. Would have been wide open. Dangerous pass picked off finally. Marcus May. He's already got a big time hit stick earlier. He's going to run it out to, no, it's going to be a touchback down to the 20. It looked like he would have been at the 1. This has been a blowout city so far, guys. Apologies in the chat. Don't miss any of the NBL upcoming action. We're going to have conference championships tomorrow night, the Super Bowl following night. We got Commissioner Corner podcasts, rookie drafts, all kinds of stuff, NBL merchandise. Make sure you hit that follow button here so you don't miss any of the upcoming action here on the NBL Network, twitch.tv backslash NBL Network. Pitch to the outside. Oh, nice little move right there. He's getting cute. Le'Veon pulling the gravy on. Against the Baltimore Ravens, slicing and dicing on the ground. Hand off again, Le'Veon. 13 rushes, 258 yards, four touchdowns, 258 yards, four touchdowns, 258 yards, four touchdowns. This has been an unbelievable performance. If you're ever looking at an NBL playoff performance, look no further. This ground attack, I don't think I've seen anything like it. 40 seasons, little jet sweep. We know this is a common play. Bananas likes to run here. This is one of the staples here. Tremont Smith is saying, hey, man, just get me involved somehow. Give me a touch. And they're like, all right, we'll, we'll get it to you on the ground. Third and inches. This is one of those, those games. You look back, remember that divisional round matchup, NBL Season 40, building the franchise, Episode 4, when Le'Veon Bell just ran all over the Baltimore Ravens. That's what we're seeing right now. Thanks, everybody, for watching Building the Franchise Baltimore Ravens. We do have a merchandise giveaway, uh, merch giveaway drawing thing you were going to do here in a bit. Probably more of a trivia thing in the chat. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do it. It's going to be on the new Legacy t-shirts. A little pitch to the outside. Le'Veon Bell trying to juke inside. Nowhere to go. If you're interested in joining the NBL, go to 365.madandbomberleague.com. Stavon Young looks like he's going to be down. We'll keep you updated on that injury report as it comes back to us. McPhee gets the tackle in the open field. Looks like Ty Montgomery in the backfield. Former wide receiver from the uh, Green Bay Packers. Converted halfback after that Eddie Lacy situation. Third and one. Well, an opportunity to hold him to three and then maybe have the greatest comeback we've ever seen. Shout out to the Gov with the five gifted subs there. Tier one. I appreciate that in the chat. For all of our subs, you got opportunities to win free gifts and uh, free stuff on the NBL Network. A little RPO, and that's going to be DPI right there. Z-Star just clicks on and runs right into. I understand he's trying to make a play, and that's just tough at this point. Here we go, fourth quarter, first and ten for the New York Jets as they get defensive pass interference, moves the chains down to the 26-yard line. I just don't see the Baltimore Ravens having much fight left in them. It was a good season, 13-3. and three, uh, They won the division. Couldn't get the bye week that they were, they were looking for. They needed to come away with a big victory against the New York Jets earlier in the season. I believe it was a week 15, week 16 matchup. They didn't get that win. And that's kind of what put them in this situation. And really, they haven't had any real big wins over any dominating teams all season. Uh, the loss to the Jets was 35-14 to in Week 15. Uh, loss to the Texans, 16-10 to Week 11. As there's a strip there. Ty Montgomery gives it up. And then you also look at the Patriots, a loss. 30, uh, well, that was a win, but for other reasons. And then the Kansas City Chiefs, they lost 47-23. to So you just don't see any consistent uh, big wins thus far out of this uh, Baltimore Ravens team is right there. Lamar Jackson just kind of a, just a little deer in headlights right there. Just kind of sitting there, dead center of pocket, head down the field, legs not moving. Mike, 
Hollywood Brown's going to get a – that's probably going to be a touchdown here. Is, Eddie, is Eli Apple going to catch him? Eli got hurt earlier. You didn't catch a 98 speed. Hollywood Brown into the end zone. They're going to cut this to 18, maybe 17 if they go for two. 78 viewers watching right now. Appreciate you guys watching Building the Franchise here on the MBL Network, twitch.tv backslash MBL Network. If you're interested in joining the MBL, go to 365.maddenbomberleague.com. All right, 18-point game. Three-score game here, 518 left. All these teams have all their timeouts. But the New York Jets haven't been asked to really throw the ball yet, and I don't think they'll really have to throw the ball much to end this game. But let's just say Baltimore gets a stop and gets back into it, and the Jets do have to start throwing the ball. This is a team that has been able to score in the air. I mean, obviously, you look at the statistics at the quarterback position for the New York Jets this season, and you see 46 touchdowns, passing touchdowns from Sam Darnold, you think, okay, they, they can air it out. 331 attempts passing. But they haven't done it today. They don't really have any rhythm. So if you can get a stop here and maybe a score and cut this to an 11-point game, we might, or 11 or 10-point game, we might have to see them start throwing and just haven't seen any rhythm, and you never know what could happen. Here we go, one play at a time. Second and eight, 450 left. You cannot milk the clock in the NBL till under two minutes. Man covers. Here we go. Pressure's coming. Gets rid of it underneath. Nowhere to go. Big hit, but Le'Veon Bell stays on the ground. Spins both. Spins left, spins right. And wow, I don't even know how to explain what just happened. He just, I think he's on a block and release. Darnold releases him at the last second, hits him in the flat, and Le'Veon just does what he's been doing this entire season. Is making dimes out of nickels. And right there was more like a quarter out of a nickel. He spins left, spins back right, and uh, Z Star at that point, the controller's probably on the ground. Because uh, there's just nothing more you can do here. Watch this little play to the left side here. Little toss left again. Nowhere to go for Ty Montgomery. Yeah, it's been phenomenal for Le'Veon Bell. Trips to the right side, bunch again. Tremont Smith down to the 49-yard line, third and 13. Trying to get to the edge here. A lot of tosses so far for the New York Jets here in the second half. They're up 18, third and 13. Do they pass the ball here, play conservative, maybe just run the ball and uh, eat some more time? You're not allowed to milk the clock till under two minutes. As we got about 20 seconds left on the play clock here. It's an aggressive set here for the Baltimore Ravens. They're going to come out in some man coverage here. Here it comes. Look. Too much time. Mm, nice defense over there. They're going to be forced to punt. All right, here's your opportunity. Three for four, 32 yards. If you can drive down, get a touchdown before, let's say, two and a half minutes, you might be right back in this game. If you're a Baltimore Ravens fan, you're living on an optim optimistic hope and a prayer. This might actually happen here. Maybe you start off with a nice big punt return here, um, but not on Jamal Adams. Oh, Jamal Adams goes for the strip. Big time user hit stick there. All right, here's how you can win a uh, MBL legacy t-shirt uh, this cornerback of the New York Jets went down early in the game with an injury he did return name that quarterback first cornerback first one to do it uh, is going to be the winner this cornerback went down with an injury Governor's correct, but he already got a t-shirt and won something, so he doesn't get anything. We're, we're, we're not counting uh, Gov. All right, we're going to ask another question since Gov got it right. We're going we're gonna to go somewhere that hasn't won. Uh, Gov just actually won uh, a giveaway or, or some kind of uh, mystery package thing that we got going on from our uh, sponsor, CFN Clothing. All right, let me think of another question here. Let's go. 
Second and seven here for the Baltimore Ravens. Dropping back. Lamar Jackson, rid of it. Oh, dangerous pass. Going to be held on by Willie Sneed, who's got just sticky hands so far for the Ravens. But I said, hey, 230 left, 240 left. you got to get into the end zone right now. Uh, time is really ticking against uh, these Baltimore Ravens. We'll dig on the left side, Hollywood Brown, down to the 17. Who was the only person to score a touchdown for the Baltimore Ravens in this game? That's the question. Who was the only person to score a touchdown for the Baltimore Ravens? Dubes in the chat says, Hollywood Brown, he's the winner. All right, Dubes, I'll hit you up in uh, Group Me uh, to get you this free Legacy T-shirt. What's going on, Rusta? That was a giveaway courtesy of our man, Captain Planet. A little RPO, left side. Sneed, face mask. I think he's into the end zone. I think it's a touchdown. Nope. Still 127 left. Got three timeouts. You're going to have to... Do a whole lot of onside kicking here. Lamar Jackson, nowhere to go there. Trying to get outside, and just everything came raining down. Shout out to DeAndre Hopkins. 27 fantasy points for me already. I need him to, to kind of double that output with about... Uh, 30 seconds left in the fourth. Texans just came back on the New Orleans Saints in the NFL. Shout out to the 50 viewers watching right here. Maybe we'll get lucky and see something like that. Nice pass back at the end zone. Touchdown, Lamar Jackson. And just like that, we're making it somewhat of a uh, reasonable uh, deficit here. Going to cut it to 11 points with 57 seconds left. It, it's just the, the inability to hold on to the ball. When you play the New York Jets, this is a team that is hard hitting. C.J. Mosley, Jamal Adams, they bring a culture to this defense that is all about cracking the ball carrier. And, and you saw it tonight. The Jets are going to need it out here. I don't know. If I'm Baltimore, I'm calling my timeouts. It's never over till it's over. And they, but they don't. That's going to do it for the game. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Don't miss any of the upcoming NBL action here on twitch.tv backslash NBL Network. You can also find us on youtube.com backslash Madden Bomber League. Uh, we got Commissioner Corner Podcast draft is upcoming as well. Also, tomorrow night. We have our conference championship. It's going to be the New York Jets taking on the New England Patriots. Jets are going to be at home. Maybe another rainy game. Let's see how Tom Brady can rally the troops on the road again. They've kind of been the road warriors in the AFC. In the NFC, we've got the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Cowboys are going to go on the road to take them on tomorrow night. And the Super Bowl is going to be Wednesday, Super Bowl 40 on the NBL Network here, twitch.tv backslash MBL Network. And if you're interested in knowing when the times are going to be, follow us on at MBL Network on Twitter and at Bomber League on Twitter as well. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time. If you want to watch this game, this archived broadcast, you can find it on YouTube.com backslash Madden Bomber League later tonight. And we're out of here.